Hey, how's it going, boys? What is up? So it's back once again for another character precious, and yes, here we are with a brand new uh, Grand Flash character for Dark. Her name is. Sh Shalim, yeah. Sh yeah, that. Uh, she's dark. She has decent attack. She's a special style character. She's unknown. Spear and stuff specialty, huh? Chaos Legion. Massive dark damage to a foe. Boost to all allies dark attack. Bonus damage to a foe with dusky verdict effect. Wow, that's OP already. <laughs> Abracadabra. Okay, 800% dark damage to a foe. Dusky verdict effect. Fact. Wow, that's fucking. What is this? <laughs> Invisible that shield effect to an ally. Dodge all attacks for one foes all time. Lost endos hit to all foes attack. Multi attack rate, special attack damage, and accuracy. Oh, this is new. Oh, everything is local, but this is new. I don't think I've seen this before. Oh, so this is that, uh... This is that icon we saw from the leaked one, huh? This is the new one. Uh, Dust Speaker's Duty. Race, race and Entranced level by 1 upon using Charge Attack. Max is 3. Boost to multi-attack rate based on Entranced level. Sharp boost to stats at level 3. <sighs> what? Based on the foe's number of debuffs. Boost to CA damage and CA specs and... What? What the fuck is this? That's an... That's an axe? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Wow, crit... Crit-based weapon, huh? And get keen effect, too. Keen effect is like the supplemental damage on crit or some shit. Crit-based weapon for dark, though. Seems possible, but I don't think it's really doable yet, though. So she has a nice nuke. Good, good buffs. Wait, so... Kasha Sword is gonna be a thing now? <laughs> I mean, this does make it a lot easier to hit that amount of debuffs though. Because this is like 5. This is 5 debuffs. And this is 7. This is automatically 7. And this is always gonna be there. Dude, this fucking shit is like... This is literally Shiva's fucking S1 as well. Literally the same, but just... Instead of attack, missing the attack down, it's debuff resistance lower. Which is pretty nice. What? This is... I mean, it's like what? 7 turns cooldown as well. 8 turns cooldown. It's pretty nice too. This is really cool though. This is really, really nice, man. I'm not sure by how much, but this thing itself, the way it probably works from my understanding is actually really good. This one as well, sharp boost, and you only need to get 3 stacks. You only need 3 ogies, man. Bro. <laughs> you only need 3 ogies. It's not even hard to do that. It's fucking dark we are talking about. And then you get CA, CA specs as well. You get extra fucking echo. Spear and stick. Then she can work with fucking Kolulu, man. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> are you kidding me with this EMP? What? He has skill cap 2 dark damage up. And you have charge bar increase. What is this? You have 2 attacks. 2 dark attacks. Skill cap, Ogi cap, charge bar increase, Ogi damage. <laughs> I'm fucking speechless. What is this? <laughs> oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I'll max this first though. I'll max this one, two, three, four, five. One, one, one. I think that's probably how I'm gonna do it. I'll put one point here, one point of each here. This two. Jesus, man, what the hell? The EMP is fucking nuts. Wow, I don't know what to say. This fucking, this fucking EMP is insane. This thing is also really, really strong too, by the way. Dodge everything. I'm so speechless on this character because she looks so fucking strong as well. No, you know what? I'm going to do one random 10 roll. RIP! <laughs> never lucky. Feels bad, never lucky. Man, there's so many things you could do with this character though, that's the thing. You can use it for near stuff. You can use it for fucking, yeah, Ogi base setup, auto base setup. Works with her. Without a fucking doubt. Because she has so much echo and Ogi specs as well. And she debuffs so well as well too. What the hell? 
She has a permanent debuff as well, man. Dude, I want to use her for fucking Fasa now. <laughs> Damn, I wonder how much is that shop boost though at 3 stacks. And the other crazy part about her is that she doesn't reduce the stacks at all. It's so easy to get to 3 stacks and you don't deplete your stacks at all. Nothing! <laughs> There's nothing! Nothing depletes that shit, man. It's there permanently. It doesn't say that uh, it gets dispelled or not, but my, my assumption it doesn't get dispelled, right? Yeah, it doesn't say that it gets removed or anything, so it's probably there permanently. What the hell? I'm not too sure about the multi-attack though. But I feel like the multi-attack rate is kind of like whatever, but it's nice. Multi-attack rate is nice, but this one is the one that I'm really very, very hmm about. That is... This character is without a doubt that is going to be very, very easy to use across all levels from start to end. This is probably like the next meta character as well because of the amount of echo she can produce. But I'm not too sure though because uh, mashing autos might be a problem because she needs to ogi a little bit. But still fucking strong though. Wait, what's the second picture like? Oh, those legs though. Just wow. Um... Long story short, she is definitely preferred in all current... Wait, let me think. Yeah, she might be actually core. She might be also... Might probably just be core for every setup right now. My assumption that her... Oh, her... Her echo is probably almost as much as how the Akasha weapons is. So like each... My guess is that each debuff is equals to 1% echo or something. Or maybe 2% echo. And it caps at uh, 10 debuffs or some shit. I don't know. That probably could be it. Or maybe 3%. Because this is to herself, right? It might be higher for all we know. And then we have this as well. It's good in a lot of different aspects. But when it comes to racing, it seems to be somewhat okay for that. You have to waste a bit of time uh, oging. That's the thing. It's really crazy. I mean, like, even dark in general is really easy to get 3 stacks. And it's only 3 stacks. It's not even hard. Like, you can probably get 3 stacks in less than 5 turns. Like, actually less than 5 turns. It's really, really easy. The only problem is that you need to burn some time being on lockout or what, on lockout or whatever because of the the Ogi lockout or whatever shit, right? Boost to all allies dark attack. My assumption that's probably 20%. Because that's usually the usual amount, right? 20 to 30%. Wait, it might actually be more. I wonder how strong this nook is though. My guess is probably gonna hit 1.5 mil or some shit. Maybe the usual, the usual cap you get with her EMP as well. You can probably hit 1.5 mil if you use if you use skill cap. You probably hit 2 mil plus or something. If you have one skill cap in your Ultima or Opus, then you should hit 2 mil. If not, it'll be like 1.5, 1.6 mil or something. Yeah, it's exactly the same as his. I know, I know Shiva does that as well. He doesn't have skill cap, but he hits around that high as well. Yeah, that makes sense. So with like your standard Akaram or maybe if you have Sariel or whatever, then you probably hit that much. It's literally like Shiva S1, yeah. Man, I don't know what else to say about this character. <laughs> and it, like newbies especially, right? If you manage to roll her as a newbie, I think you'll be really, really happy. Because she helps out a lot. Because you get this free debuff. This is a, a nuke as well. Remember how I always say that nukes are very, very important as a new player. Because it does the most damage for you. Instead of your shitty autos. And then you have this as well. Increases your fucking damage. And then you also get multi-attack. Multi-attack is very, very important for new players. Not too much on, on endgame. Because most of the time endgame players... You already have your own multi-attack anyway. So it doesn't really matter too much. I don't know what else to say about this character. So there's... Yeah, that's it. That's it. I want to end. I want to end the impressions before that 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 guy comes alive, or even worse. But yeah, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this impressions and Pepega. Like, subscribe, and comment Pepega or something. Yeah, the usual. 